Sweet. To uh, <clears throat> welcome all your faces to uh, day 17, the usual uh, day when I'm alone is biceps and triceps. Running a little bit of forearms with that. Um, you know, I think it's going to be a bloody decent day. Again, because we're doing buys and tries, most likely don't need anything more than Planet Fitness at this point. Um, definitely incorporating, as usual, the, uh, the Trapezoarus Rex. Going to dominate that shit. Um, and we'll do possibly a little bit of abs. That seems like a good day. Um, and not so much predominantly focusing on the cardio right now because I am still dropping weight pretty good. So I'm gonna get to a stage where uh, no longer dropping any more weight from uh, my diet. And it's just uh, solely focused on, uh, well, the combination of the both, the diet and the workout. And then I'll incorporate the cardio. But still ain't gonna skip it. I'm still doing it uh, every now and then during the week, so can't say no to that but we are here at Planet Fitness remember DBAB don't be a bitch pussies don't get shit without further ado let's just drop the video starting off mainly single armed as we always usually start off with um, nothing too serious again lightish weight because it is a uh, it is a main starter just do it on uh, triceps Usually I predominate on our biceps right now, but can't be bothered. So, uh, as long as we just mainly focus on the push down and the squeeze on the bottom, we should be fine. We're going to drop it as a superset with an overhead extension on the end of it. Again, main focus is just warming up the triceps, not really too much of the muscle gain, but still, we should be doing pretty good. Again, a lot of the time, especially yesterday, that back day was absolutely screwed up, so I want to take precaution on that. Other arm. I guess in a way today, we're definitely going to prioritize the triceps a lot more on the bike. Because a lot of the uh, back day yesterday, definitely, definitely did a lot of biceps, including the movements where I was holding shit. So that's kind of uh, probably the extent that I'm going to go for forearms. It's just holding shit. Incorporate possibly some forearms while doing uh, traps. And uh, just simple shit like that, I think is a... Uh, Probably the most effective. Bump and increase in weight and uh, rinse and repeat. Oh my god. Never had. As usual. Okay, right, let's move the camera and get a better angle. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to increase much in weight because it seems to me that the lightweight's actually doing quite a lot. <laughs> Probably because there's a lot of tension in the cable. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Hey, let's uh, let's take a rest point and do a uh, no cabled, because that should uh do in the inner, possibly, again, because we're using nothing. No weight is probably better than uh straining and fucking up. Oh, that squeeze on the bottom is where we're at. Now oh. 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 oh, you're good. Oh, ah, oh. a rum. Ah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god. Still an alternation on that one because that one's very nice. Oh yeah. That one's definitely feeling it. Now, the one thing that I notice from doing a, well, these particular tricep pull downs with the no cable is a, is more so doing this one right here. Definitely feels a lot better. So let's keep on that. I do know I'm gonna have to bump up the by one again. We are on a cut and not a bolt, so <sighs> shit ton of weight should not be necessary. I think we can get away with a lot of sets of easier weight. Let's increase some weight. Take a 30 second break. Rinse and repeat. Oh my god. I think I'd like to do a, a no cable overhead extension. I think that might be fairly smart, at least on the long head. Probably might get a straight bar, but uh Nothing too, uh, nothing too serious. I'm thinking dropping a certain type of superset that would be bringing, well, the cable part down to like eight. Doing a double version of a, well, hitting two heads in like a superset. So uh, if I drop it down here, I can still hold it from here and do it as an overhead. But at the same time, if I can get nice and close and hold here, I can also do a kickback, which is uh, definitely gonna increase on the longer head. Basically hitting two at the same time. Well, at the same time, but one right after another. One's gonna definitely get a lot more fatigue than the other, I can guarantee you, but. That is my theory. Well, if I run them as squeezes up the top, I should get away with it. Oh my God. And then drop it as a kickback. Oh my god. Oh. That is uh that's definitely good.
Just tell you, the resistance on this one, I'm like, I'm barely even doing any weight. It's uh, fucked. It is very much fucked. However, naturally, holding just this for an overhead doesn't feel too comfortable. I do know that uh, the head's are definitely getting very worn in, which is uh, surprisingly good, but. I don't think I want to do overheads with just a cable. I think that's a bit dumb. If I am, if I lower the weight and hold them as squeezes, I might be able to utilize a bit more. Yeah. I think technique wise, I'd like to do some reverse curls, or at least on a bar, so I can do the uh, the inner for a little bit. Take a bit of a break off triceps, go into a bit of our buys, and then uh. Rehead her all up when it's slightly a bit more fresher. You know, I think that would be bloody brilliant. Again, make sure that your elbow is pretty far back so you can get a stretch position. It would be great. Okay. Let's do finalish set, at least for now. Reverse curl and uh focus on the uh squeezes. Again, we don't need a lot of weight for this. I think I'm going to do a uh, form of sideways. So I'll hold it from this angle and swing it down. Instead of uh, being straight and pulling it down, I don't feel much resistance compared to, uh, well, the tension there is fucking great. So that's where the grip's going to be. Again, I'm not too confident about having a lot of weight. So I think I'm just going to mainly, at least in my opinion, allow the tension to cause my ability to get a bigger tricep. There's only way one, one way to figure out if it works or not, so. Okay. Gets the stage. Once you do it for too long, your wrist starts hurting. So I think that's when I'm gonna have to do less weight. But I think it actually just might be my grip and my, my wrist snapping back. So if I just keep it straight, I should be fine. Don't 
definitely increase in weight after this. But those are nice squeezes. Let's increase. Okay, I'm gonna hold the squeeze on the bottom a little bit more. That's perfect. That one's done. So it drops up. By the way, it squeezes. I think there's a, a lot going on in the triceps, so uh, let's give them a little break. Go drop some bars. Welcome to the biceps portion of the uh, workout, or at least for the moment. Um, I've also got some nice 20s down here. Now, for a particular reason, I want to see with the uh, weight that I'm here, if I can run them as shrugs. That way I can hit two birds with one stone and I won't have to incorporate a shit ton of tra uh, traps. But there's a possibility it might work, possibility it might not. But no harm in trying anyway. <sighs> so, standard thing we're around there today. I'm on a 45-ish degree angle. That is so my uh, biceps and triceps and my entirety of my arms are uh, behind my chest. So if they were in front, not much tension because they're back here, full tension all the time. That's just perfect for me. And uh, I'm gonna drop a lot. We're dropping 16s at the moment. Possibility we'll drop 18s or 20s. I don't know, but this is the main focus. Uh, I basically just want to convert blood from the triceps to the biceps so I have enough time to do more triceps. Basic is the premise. So, <clears throat> we'll drop them here. Yeah. And, uh, let's drop it. Now, the one thing I've noticed from a uh, from C to down version is uh, I haven't got the ability to lean it all the way down to the bottom, like allow it to hang. Now, two things I've noticed from it is if I did it for a while, I'm always in the constant activation position. I'm never allowing it to stretch down and open up and activate again. So there's two things that could either happen. You're only gonna get a traps injury. I'm uh, gonna get severely fucking fatigued and I won't be able to do it for much longer. So I think for me personally, I'd rather stand up. Do biceps, stand up, do traps. So let's, uh, let's adjust the camera so it can uh, be done like that. Uh, uh, uh. 
Okay. okay, just for this video, I'm not going to be showcasing the traps uh, clips because I've basically been doing traps wrong for a while and uh, that should definitely be corrected in possible future videos. At least I know after uh, day 23, I definitely have changed it. So I will just showcase all of the bicep clips. Pick this shit back up and let's uh, drop another set. <sighs> Shit. Let's drop lighter but squeezing. Yeah. No. I think, I think I'm almost done. I think I'm going to do my 12 o'clock method. Let's drop it. It's increasing to 14s. I think 16s is a bit heavy, but 14s should be alright. <sighs> Increase some weight, same as usual. 12 o'clocks. <sighs> 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 Probably drop one more and I would have been at least slightly more to fatigue, but uh, I need a tiny bit of gas. So I'm gonna do tension cables after this one. <sighs> 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 I think I'm done. I think I'm gonna go do resistance cables now. <sighs> now we're uh, focusing on the control with the cable. It might be a bit too light or it's a bit too heavy, but focusing on the squeezes. So I might not do too much, but same time, should be all right. After this, I wanna do a complete total fuck over with a uh, straight bar. And it's the usual technique that I used to use in uh let's just say it gives your arms gas real fucking quickly. And it gives you a massive pump. So sweet. Keep going. Oh shit, it's burning. 
I think that nice and slow control movement is fucking perfect. Beautiful. And let's lean over the chair a bit and uh, cause a bit more tension. Go. So much resistance and tension. Holy shit, that is uh, beyond amazing. Because there's a version where you just stand up, but I like to lean slightly back on the bench. I don't know, it just, it causes more tension and it feels fucking beautiful. That is definitely a lot more pumped than those curls that I did. So, it's definitely drop another quadruple set like that shit. And uh, we'll get the uh, get a rope. Same thing, except squeezes. Probably more close grip squeezing. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. And then after that, we'll do uh, the arm blaster burner. And then uh, once that's finished, back to triceps. Plus. It's not even that heavy of weight. There's just so much tension and resistance on this that it it feels heavy. I love it. Oh my god. Okay, let's bring the camera closer so you can see a bit more of the bicep fibers. Lean back. Holy shit. Shit, there's so much activation. Holy shit. Again, lean back a bit. Oh my god. No. Could have done two more, but I definitely want to do double soon. I think it'd be great. Oh, fuck. 
There is a. It's very solid. That's fucking weird. Okay. Let's drop it as a rope. And then, uh. It's either a rope or a double gripped handle. Something like that. Actually, let's do that. Double gripped it. It's the reason why, in particular, I like these single handled grips. Especially if it's to do it close grip here. So you would, uh, in a way, kind of click these together and swiss. It's like a double grip. Increase some weight. Because again, we're doing double grip. And I'm going to pull this bench back so I have a bit more tension. But at the same time, lean back just a little bit so I can extend and really <coughs> close that grip. I know, it's just so much resistance. The resistance I get from this is just crazy, crazy shit. You really feel the blood when it shoots down your arm. It's, it's fucking weird. All right, we'll drop uh, two or three more. And, uh, then uh, I think it's a possibility that we will go straight to our triceps. I'm not sure yet. There's a lot going on in that bias, but fuck me. I don't think I've ever felt a fuller bicep in my life, honestly. But let's increase the weight a bit more. Because again, I want to make sure that there is constant increase and constant tension. <coughs> 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 I think I'm going to end off with uh, single arms now, and then we'll go do tries. Back to nine kilos. Focus on those squeezes. And uh, take a tiny little pump cover in the mirror. And then uh, drop it. Oh my god. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh. Shit. One more. Last one. Okay. Can't wait for my uh, 
One match. Work out singlets to come through. Both of them. Going to be pretty sick. Look at those uh, traps. They look nice. That tricep's looking good. Hey, hey, let's uh, let's go do triceps just a tiny bit more. Again, I wanna, I wanna get even blood flow in both sides. But other than that, I think we, I think we're nearly done. Hey, sweet. Let's uh, move my ship over here a little bit, so I'm not uh, becoming a complete nuisance. But it's as high as we can go. But I'm gonna do light-ish and just uh, focus on the bottom end of the squeezes. I think this rope might be a bit too big. It's a possibility that I have to change to a different rope. It's another rope. I'm just gonna have to hold it higher. It's not really ideal, but what really is at this point? Or I can just step a bit more back. Let's just go flat. Tiny bit more back. If that's the case, I want to increase weight for resistance and then just focus, uh, lean a little bit forwards and focus on those rear triceps. <sighs> Slight less weight and rinse and repeat. Again, more squeezes because I'm using less weight. I'm gonna go a bit higher on grip. Yeah. Let's keep going. See, I need it to get me up here. Cable is way too long. Way too long. I need a different rope soon. Or a different grip. Let's go for a different grip. The reason why I don't really like rope, because what can be accompanied by rope can literally be outperformed by a double cable. I can still squeeze it out. Look at that. Who needs ropes? Hang on. Decrease on my that's way too light now. Oh. I think two more. And honestly, I think I'm done. Yeah. 
<sighs> yeah. I'm going to do this version now, just for a little bit, about two of these. I think I'm done. Whoa, whoa. After this, definitely again in our pure egg whites. Drink that shit up. Let's go see the pump. New setup. You are now on the mirror. Maybe that might be a little bit more better. If I do it here, right? And flip that. That shit. Wonder if that's better. We can also test how dirty this fucking screen is, but uh, I think if anything, I'd probably do it like uh, this, right? So I can see, but then uh, like that, so I can see what the hell's going on in the camp, and uh, I can check the pump. Sweet. So uh, day seventeen, something nice and beautiful, triceps and. Biceps, definitely a very full workout, especially with those cables. Those cables rip ass, but very proud of those cables, honestly. Good thing is that uh, definitely uh, definitely ending some size. So uh, let's check it out. Have a look. Oh, yeah. Again. No, no, I can't see the lighting. It's pretty ass for me, but it's probably pretty decent for you. But uh, still. Oh yeah, I think uh, overall the increase in uh, triceps, this uh, this bad boy definitely having a lot more of the shoe head. She looks alright. This one, again not so much, possibly because of the lighting, it's uh, very hard to see a lot of the definition. Bicep gain, it's definitely getting a lot bigger, not sure. How much more I'm losing weight per se, but I think those shoulders are necessarily wide. <sighs> Again, traps are still fairly small, but everything else on the physique is huge, which is fucking amazing. So let's uh take this off and do a fatness check. <sighs> See how well that cut's doing for me. Again, my uh, body's actually getting pretty fucking narrow. Yeah. No resistance, resistance. Looking pretty good. Again, the main thing, and this is what I really like about this cut so far, the main thing is uh, those traps are definitely getting bigger. <coughs> Like in a, in overall standpoint, I remember when I first started, at least finished the bulk, started the cut. Those are, those traps were very small. So I love to see that it is definitely increasing in size. Same thing for biceps and triceps and shoulders. They are actually both increasing in size and maintaining their previous bulking size, which is fucking perfect. Because I always had a fear during the uh, cut, they were obviously going to get smaller, but they didn't. They are uh, definitely getting bigger. So now the rest of me just needs to get smaller 
And I'll probably look pretty bloody huge anyway. That's what I mean. Like most people are afraid of getting small on the cut, but if you're regulatory, if you're like majorly big anyway, like it don't matter. You know what I mean? Like that, my entire body could be nice and shredded. That would still be like the size of my head. You know what I mean? So I think now, mainly for this cut, now is making sure, I think that's a nice, relatively good size. I think now I just want to have more formation, more shredded in that arm and in this arm, obviously. I think this head here in particular needs a little bit more in of an increase, but overall, very good. Lower pec is getting a bit, like just below where this is, it's a bit funky, it's a bit flat. So I think rounding that off would probably be a bit better, but on an overall standpoint, it's pretty good. Abs, definitely gonna get worked Monday. I know all too well on that shit. So uh, prepare yourselves for a nice ab on Monday. Uh, possibility that uh, we are most likely honest to God. I know I said this last time that we should be doing legs on Friday, which we didn't actually do legs. So I think Monday is going to be legs. Just for a little bit, and then uh, I probably might do a cabled chest, not a, not benchy and shit like that. I think cabled chest is probably smart, but let's do cable chest and uh, legs Monday. Sounds good. But other than that, I think the, uh, the get out there, do some cardio, do a good uh, solid one-ish hour of cardio and uh, I think we should be good. But uh, anyway, thank you all so much for uh, day 17. I will see all your beautiful faces in uh, day 18. We're almost getting to day 20. It's going to be fucking beautiful. Sweet. Peace off, loves. Sweet. So uh, post-workout. Um... We are going to go into Coles and uh, I'm looking to find some egg white drink. Hopefully kind of similar. Probably would be around the $8 still, but uh, I want to make sure I uh, down that before I leave. And, uh, once I finish there, I think carbohydrates are a definite necess necessity because uh, the whole Egg whites is really just for the protein and the um, vitamins and all the uh, BCAAs and shit, which are is a necessity for my body. But the main thing would be uh, getting a bit of carbs in there. I'm not talking about unhealthy carbs like the breads and shit, but uh, you know, possibility. Uh, Gotta just think of what I can make at home. It's usually just probably gonna be bananas i feel like that's my honest to god post workout for carbs is egg whites at least this drink is going to be a bloody good one so that's going to be mainly where my recovery is and when it comes to like uh carbs or shit guess uh guess i'm gonna ask craig like where i can really heavily find uh the type of uh the type of carb look at that bad boy i found it eventually except they're a lot more expensive here but it should still do the same thing uh so that's good it is uh 31 calories over serving eight eight servings you know the drill this should be uh this should be a good post meal so uh we'll get out of here down this and figure out what we're doing for carbs Okay, so post meal of the day, we are drinking uh, pure egg whites. This uh, it's probably one of the best things I've ever drank when it comes to post workout. Honestly, the amino acids, the fucking BCAAs, you know, the protein, and it's got fuck all fats, carbohydrates, cholesterol, all of that beautiful shit that it does not have. But the protein intake is about fifty five grams. Again, usually the body ingests about or well, consumes and uses up 30 grams every hour so this uh there's a little bit over 
but I'm sure from all of the uh, workout that we just did, I'm sure it would be fine. But tastes like shit for about uh, about five minutes. Um, not five minutes, five seconds. Most people hold their nose. I don't really. It's a uh, should be fine. But uh, smells like nothing, at least to me. Nothing, nothing at all. So uh, let's down it and uh, let's figure out what we're doing for our carbs. <sighs> okay so what are we going to do for carbs usually what I would do is uh, down some beans, black beans mainly because it also has a hint of protein with it as my car decides to shit itself because I'm not wearing my seatbelt thank you car you happy now? okay but uh, usually I would jump black beans, have a black beans which has a little bit of protein obviously the dietary fiber with the uh carbs mainly the carbs that's what i'm there for i think it's about 13 or 14 of uh carbs which is phenomenal but the problem with that is i can't eat that shit by itself see so how would you eat it usually i would mix it up with uh, all my foods my meats and my uh, vegetables and all that shit but the problem is i've just had that so that's a lot of of protein already. And if I go ahead and, you know, go and eat some protein, some uh, fucking mince or T-bone steak or whatever you want to eat. Um, usually it's, for me, it's kangaroo mince or fucking turkey mince. But the problem is, because I've already had that, I've already exceeded my one hour limit of uh, protein that my body absorbs. So uh, I've got to be a bit more strategic on what I am going for. When it comes to carbs. And I'm going to make sure they're perfectly good carbs. And not shitty carbs. Because that's the problem here. Now I was originally thinking going and getting some sushi. That would probably be really bloody good. But at the same time. I think. I actually think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go get some tuna and avocado sushi. With some honey soy chicken. Just a tiny bit. That way. Yes, uh, I know about the whole uh, protein intake, but, I mean, come on. You can't just have sushi by itself. I mean, you can. I'd love to do that, but I want to be a little naughty. You know, I haven't had a little quick fix of a meal that off before. You know, most people go and get McDonald's or whatever. You know, my cheat meal is, uh, well, sushi. It's up. Uh, fucking phenomenal and i could eat way too much of that shit and that is uh in itself a problem but let's go uh to near sushi rolls and uh, let's down it and let's get some uh honey soy chicken just because why not might as well um and then i want to go over to my mother's house and uh see what's up <sighs> so let's uh let's start her up and let's uh let's drop it